Hi, today we are going to learn how to create HTML5 banner for Google Display Network using uh, Adobe Edge Animate. So this is Adobe Edge Animate. Okay, now let's start. Let's go to create new. Okay, so this is our dashboard. Uh, Adobe is dashboard looks a little difficult to understand at the beginning but once you learn how to do it it's really easy like if you get friendly with it it's really easy to create banner using this ID or software so we are going to create 300 into 250 banner which is a very standard size for Google Display Network so you can change the size here you can even make it uh, 728 into 90 if you want correct so similarly you can use you can choose any sizes okay now we are going to create 250 300 into 250 correct so we are going to take some boxes here but uh, you see it's not visible here um, the toolbars are not present so what you can do is you can go to windows workspace and you can click on reset to default okay once you click on that you'll get all those toolbars here now we'll take a rectangle here you can change the color to change the color you can go to color make sure it is selected so now you can change the color to something like this okay so now you can write something here like tools and travels or something tools and travels you can change the font size from here so basically everything that you want is at the left hand side so it is really easy to make changes and it's really quick to create your banner you can in fact create a banner in 10 to 15 minutes so we are going to change the color now so we'll change the color okay now you can write something here 50 percent so again we are going to choose this uh, red color for this particular text i can make it 50 or even 80 will be good so we can write 50 here of now you can make it 32 So now you can change this color to black, look better. So this is your basic panel. You can also add some images to this. So let's import an image from desktop. Okay, so you can take this image. It's quite large, right? You can reduce the image from here. Click on it. Okay, you can make it 200. You can go to modify. You can also convert it to symbol if you want. You can align it. You can arrange it. You can do whatever you want. So let's arrange it, send it back. Okay. You can also arrange it using this. Send it backward. Just send it back. So it's already behind. Now we can I don't want the full image to appear. So we can bring it here. This on here. 
Okay, so this is your banner. I can preview your banner. Okay, it looks fine, right? Now one more thing, you want a border outside, so we'll, we are going to put the border later. Right now what we are going to do is we are going to create animations. So for, for the first, like, we can create the animation for this rectangle first. So to create the rectangle, I'll use this uh, fade in and fade out for this particular part. So you can click on it, this one, remember just this okay click on it now go to some frames and again click on the same thing now we can go back and reduce the opacity to zero so you can see the animation it's, it's really easy to create animation right so this is our animation for the first part and this what you can do is you can create the animation for this part first so I want it to come from right hand side so we are going to click on it and then after a few frames we are going to click on it again now you can change the position of this particular part to something like this you can see it's already animated now what we can do for the 50 is we can bring it as fair in and fair out or we can make it bounce from upside so let's make it bounce we'll click on y axis here after some frames okay, I'm going to click on y axis so let's go to the previous frame put it, put it up so animation has come now to bounce like you can add some easing here okay easing is out swing so many things we have so we can write elastic or bounce so it will bounce okay, okay. so this you can see a bounce now since this part is done now we want this plane to be animated so let's bring it from the left hand side, go to some frames and click on it again. Now come back, change the position of it. So this is also animated. Now as I said we wanted a border outside of this thing so we are going to take this. Okay. So we can reduce the opacity here and remember this part it's none so you can use it solid okay so I think border is done okay now since border is not visible what we can do is we can uh, remove hide all these things check if our border is visible okay so you can write two pixels if it's not visible now I can test it again 